Uh, I'm Luke Henderson, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Queen of the Miraculous Medal in Jackson, Michigan. And I'll be studying at Sacred Heart Major Seminary this fall uh, in Pre-Theology 1. So my vocation story, it kind of starts, uh, I'll have to go back to 2013 when uh, my best friend, he passed away in a car accident. And uh, it was a hard time for me. It kind of drove me away from the church, actually, sadly. But uh, I had just a lot of sadness and anger in my heart, and I couldn't really understand why God would do that. So from 2013 to 2018, I was uh, kind of uh, out of the church, but I noticed that God was still calling me in my heart to come back to his church and come back to pray to him. So I opened my heart to that, and, and back in 2018, I started coming back, and then I had my first confession in a long time, and I confessed everything that happened in those years, uh, you know, leaving the church, uh, felt really bad about it, but I was never atheist or anything. I just had a lot of sadness in my heart, and I felt like I would have been a hypocrite in those pews if I did, but that serious confession, uh, it meant a lot to me. And uh, fast forward a little bit to ordination in 2019, there was actually no priest ordained in our diocese, and at our parish, we were having a holy hour to pray for vocations, and, you know, just something in that holy hour I was praying, it, it hit me. Uh, you know, I was just uh, what, thinking all these questions, uh, what if there were no priests? Uh, what about people like me in that situation that were trying to come back to the church but couldn't go to a priest for the sacrament of confession? And, uh, you know, it really hit me, so I started praying. I was like, okay, maybe God's calling me to something. And there's just like some weird fire in my heart just was burning. And I was like, is there a reason I was put on this path? So I started praying on it, and uh, there was one night specifically I remember praying to God. I was like, why would you call someone like me? to discern the priesthood. And I woke up that night and my TV was on and out of all movies starting was Paul the Apostle of Christ. Uh, so I watched that fully and then I told my mom about it the next morning and she was like, well, what better answer when you're asking why would someone like you be called than the Paul who persecuted Christians before? And that's really when uh, you know, I just felt that fire grow stronger in my heart. So. It went me on a path that I talked to my pastor, and that got me talking to Father Whitlock, and from there it's just grown so much more, my love for the Lord, my relationship with him, and uh, it's just grown even more since that day. And then when COVID hit, especially, uh, I knew I, I just prayed so much more, and um, my fire, my love for the Lord just kept burning stronger, and I'm here where I am now, and I'm so thankful. Uh, if I didn't go through those things that happened back in uh, 2013, you know, I don't even know if I'd be on this path today, but I'm so happy for it and uh, so blessed. I feel so blessed and my love for the Lord has never been stronger than it is now. Mm -hmm.